This is Optic Nation's CDL press conference brought to you by Elgato. Let's get into it. Yeah, man. All right, this question is for Bruce. Uh, how did you guys find Ghosty? Um, so it was after Boston. Um, obviously, our team was talking about making a change. So uh, we knew that we had to look for somebody um, in like Ender's role, somebody that just replaced what he brought to a team and also what he did on the map. So um, we just kind of scoped out into challengers, or I mean, I did personally, and then I mean, obviously, everyone had nothing but great things to say about Dan and the whole challenger scene. I talked to Haggy, um, and then he was just gassing him up pretty much. And then I think Ant called Tyler, a fellow, and then just, like, hit him up on the phone. Just wanted to ask him, like, some things he was curious about. And um, it kind of just made sense. It was kind of, uh, I don't know, like, he fits our team. Like, like it's like, I don't know. Like, the, I, I could tell right away the first day of scrims, it was just natural. We were, like, the chemistry was there. We were flowing. Um, it was just kind of one of those things where we needed to, I guess, take a chance, but on like, I guess a up and coming player or not really, but there's just no one like, you know what I mean? We can't get like a, like, I don't even know, like somebody else from another team. So it kind of made sense. And honestly, it's a blessing in disguise. So shout out to Dan like that. Uh, this is for Kyler. What stood out, um, in Ghosty's gameplay and compared to other options? Other options? Um... I don't know any other. <laughs> he is the only one. <laughs> yeah. He is the only one. He's one of one. Um, that's what stood out. I think he was a clear cut, right? Um, I mean, he's here now. He's, you know, shown his his talent. Clearly, you know what I'm saying. He's good as fuck. So, <laughs> and nothing much to say, man. Sure, nothing much to say to that. He's doing kids got it. Kids nuts. We still we, yeah. we still going though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all. Um, all right, Ghosty, uh, what is your uh, role on this team in comparison to your Challengers run? Um, well, to be honest, the, the role really hasn't changed much. Uh, I don't really have to slay as much as I had to in Challengers. I definitely don't have to, you know, be so heavy on the cuts. Um, but I kind of do the same thing. Uh, I IGL, I communicate really well with my teammates. I like to play efficient Call of Duty. Um, so honestly, it's been a really natural, like, switch for me, in my opinion, at least personally. And has anyone, uh, been the, the person to give you advice coming into the CDL and coming into, like, what comes with that as, like, far as, like, content and schedule and all that? Yeah, um, I, I kind of got an introduction to that last year on, uh, Boston Academy with Doug, obviously, Censor, uh, for those of you that don't know. Um, <clears throat> so... I knew what to expect in that regard. Uh, obviously, Optic is a whole different breed whenever it comes to content and everything else in the support. Uh, <clears throat> but I uh, I talked to Tyler Fellow. Uh, I talked to Clayster. Uh, I've obviously talked to Haggy. I've talked to the people here. Uh, so I was pretty I was pretty well versed whenever it came to it, uh, and I had a lot of people supporting me and giving me advice. So yeah, shout out them. Um, and how have scrims been with the with the new squad? They're doing good. They're on fire, yo. Yes. I feel yeah. like they're productive. Um, we're frying. We're I mean, we're just we're just getting better with um with every set, which is all you could really ask for from scrims. I mean, obviously, like winning maps and stuff is is nice, but it's like when you could feel like your team progressing in certain aspects they that you you're just talking about, it's it's just super refreshing, it's just super motivating and um, mm -hmm. that's all that's the goal. So mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I rate that. Um, and who is the, who's the IGL in, in dis different situations on, on the team? Like for like in game, I mean, yeah, it will direct like a lot of the in game, like what we need to be like doing on the map just for whatever the situation uh, may present itself. But I mean, after scrims, after maps, like if we're talking about certain plays, I mean, we're all pretty vocal about what we, um, think we could have done better or whatever. So, uh, I think all four of us do a really good job of like pitching in and then saying what we should be doing if something goes wrong or if a hill or a situation we could play better. So, um, yeah, we yeah, man. love its yeah, perspectives man. on it and we all bounce off of each other. In my opinion, uh, I think we work well, at least whenever it comes to like how we want to approach the game and how we talk about it, even if there are disagreements, we'll work around it in an actual efficient sense rather than just, you know, arguing back and forth. Actually, we haven't, we haven't really argued. Yeah, we don't. That's besides the point. Yeah. There's no arguments. It's more like, uh, constructive thinking of how yeah, we can all be better as a unit. We see, we, should, we see each other's like points mm -hmm. on a lot of things and then we kind of just work out, um, <laughs> I mean, I guess like a, a solution, but uh, it's been great so far. 
，夜夜。<laughs> Thanks for the ad libs, John.、Uh, has there been a, a in-team discussion about who's running the sniper in S and D now, or are you guys going sniper? I mean, we talked about it, but I mean, me and Dan are probably just gonna we're both we're both just gonna snipe. It's gonna be one of those things where it's like off a of feel, um, off of maybe a map or a situation. Maybe one of us is feeling it.、Um, both of us are gonna be doing it. It's not like a situation where、uh, one of us is gonna be perma running it versus the other, but.、Um, I trust him. He trusts me. So it's one not one of those things where it's like a, oh shit, like I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like oh I need it or he needs it. It's like whoever's feeling it takes it. So, yep. All right, going into the、uh, weekend,、uh, Ghosty, what were you, what were your nerves like? Everyone was. Um, I definitely was pretty nervous. Can't lie.、Uh, I feel like I would have been nervous playing any team for any team, just because it is my first CDL match. Uh, but after the map one,、uh, after the performance、uh, that we had, I wasn't really worried. Um, and I I will definitely say to the fact that like my teammates are so gross in their own aspect that the nerves of like damn like I have to completely fry or I'm gonna lose like those are off my my shoulder. All I have to do in my head is just do my job and I'll end up winning. Um, so there was obviously pressure,、uh, but at the end of the day, there's always pressure to win.、Uh, so it, it just feels like another day. Yeah, it's normal. I remember my first match, like it was five years ago. I was tweaking, bro. Like it was, it was on land. I'll never forget. It was against、uh, it was against Haggy's team actually against Pittsburgh Knights at Vegas, and then it was our first like land match. And I was actually like the first map. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, no, no, no. I was definitely、shit. nervous going into the map one, but like we hit flow and like we we were all synced up so fast that、yeah. I, I mean, I felt good. I felt real good. Speaking of flow state,、uh, we got to talk about that game five. Well, going through what what goes through, <laughs> here's mine in a in a situation like that. Um, I don't know. So I think the whole series and the whole time I was in enjoying myself. So I didn't have any pressure going into that map five. I kind of like the whole throughout the whole series, even when we were down, I had a solid you know feeling about what's gonna happen. So、I、feel like I was just stayed on my toes, stay poised, and.、Uh, Do it, do my thing, man. That's I like that. That's really, um, boys. E, I like that word too. I just figured it out. That's a good word. Just figured it out. Me, <laughs> add that to the vocab. Yeah, I like that. It's a good word. Um, was it strange not having Ant uh in in the room with you guys playing? Uh, Loki kind of was because like we scrimmed like with us four there before, you know, like one or two days, and uh. I was expecting that for the match, and it was, you know, a little weird. Me fist bump in the air to fist bump it. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm halfway through, I'm like, yo, I don't know if I can fist bump because, like, I don't know our normal flow. Like, yeah, like, you didn't want to reach so... over because, like, it would mess up the flow. So, yeah, like, imagine going through and like on land, like we're just gonna be throwing out the gap. You know what I mean? We can't be throwing off the rhythm of the, the fist bump, especially first match. It's gonna like he's gonna be used to it.、Like, mm-hmm. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? They're like, like, what do you mean? Fist bump the flow? They're like, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> it really is a thing. Where you gotta be in rhythm. You gotta be in rhythm. Yeah, gotta be in sync with it. All right, we saw on Twitter that、uh, that Hook was getting super hype, especially after that game five. Is is hype something that plays into this new team, or is it something that just was like、uh, momentum based in in the moment?、Mm. So I'll answer this. I think I don't know this past week or two. You're sitting the moment taking over this. I yeah, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, for me, I think. There's no real reason why it's happening. I think I just am passionate about the game. I'm having fun, and I'm on a team that allows me to be myself. So I'm very thankful for that. And yeah, man, like you know, just having fun. We just getting started, man. We just getting started. Straight up, we're having fun. Do be fun though. It do be real fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be, bro. Straight up. Yep. And outside of matches and scrims, I think you guys might be the first team where all four of you guys are top two fifty in rank play. I don't. Is Ant top two fifty yet? Did he hit? It? I think he hit. He's, he's in. He's, he's in Crimson. Crimson. Yeah, he's real close. He might be top two fifty now. Yeah, he might be.、Oh, okay.、Um, If he's like top three <laughs> hundred. How are you guys enjoying rank play, and what do you think it、uh, is bringing to the competitive scene?、Uh, I would、and、love to answer. Uh, I I think this is the best rank play system that we've had since BO2, and it might actually top it if they keep it up. And the only reason why I say that is because while BO2 like has all the OG features and it looked cool, like this has all of that and it looks cooler. And I I more so mean like the ranks, like iridescent is nice, bright, vibrant, crimson. Like the ranks actually look cooler the more you progress. There's stuff to actually like be able to unlock. Um, 
And I, I honestly really like it. I think it's really rejuvenized the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer scene in general. Uh, and I think it'll give some new eyes to comp um, if they do it right, you know? Uh, they still have to update it. Uh, would love to see, you know, the hackers be a little bit yeah, that's... less. But other than that, I seriously love it. It's uh, I don't really enjoy pubs, but I've been playing a hell out of rank. I don't know how y- y'all feel about it. But. Nah, rank, I mean, I'm I'm super happy that it's here, bro. Straight up. Like, it's really straight up. I feel like the whole community is like vibing with it for the most part. So we were. Uh, it's a fun thing. It's a fun I, thing to have. Who mentioned? Oh, Zin mentioned it, Aaron, earlier. <clears throat> but like courage and like Doctor Disrespect and like real big streamers, you know, who for the most part have stayed away from COD, at least multiplayer and more so Warzone. Mm. Um, they started to play ranked, and they're, they're still doing it. They're streaming it. Yeah, that's cool. Which is really good to see for Call of Duty. So I'm I'm really excited for the future. Yeah. And another thing that they did was super cool for like CDL pros is like your our pictures are in the game. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, cuz like it, that's pretty cool. like we were talking about this earlier it gives like cool. people who are know. maybe even just casual fans, they don't know anything about the CDL. They're like, "Oh, yo, who's this guy? I'm looking at Dashy, right?" And like you see pro player Optic, then you Google him and then you start getting invested all because they can just press the scoreboard and see it. So, yeah. I think it's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a weird accent, but they good. Fix the hackers, I'm telling you, shit is lit. Yeah, the hackers are <laughs> rinsing me right now. They're whipping them off the servers. Yeah, they're actually they are shameless. Yeah, yeah. Then they tell you GGs afterwards with like the most straight face. Like, yeah, GGs, man. Or you'll beat them in the grill. They're like, man, that was a close one. I'm like, a close one. I'm like, bro, you're literally <laughs> seeing through a wall, bro. I'm like, I'm not, that's not a, I'm getting off. It's not about a good time, but it's fine. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> they still last. All right, this question is for Bruce. Uh, the leading into the next major, which is the optic major, this is your chance to go back to back in front of the green wall. Uh, are you preparing any differently for that, or like is that in your mind at all? Uh, it's definitely uh, on my mind just to defend the land, I guess you could say. But um, I'm not really going into any different than a major. I mean, I treat every major like um, how I would. I'm like the preparation's the same, all that stuff. But um, I'm definitely really excited to play in front of the green wall. I mean, these guys. Um, I'm excited for them, honestly, because playing in front of that crowd is, it, it's something I can't describe. You're just going to have to wait and experience it, but it, it's something that's, you're going to remember forever, no lie. So, um, yeah, it should be lit. Yeah. Um, that's cool. you know, always comes crazy. So, um, we're looking forward to it. We're going to be grinding. We're going to try to bring our best A game and try to take it home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 It's going to be hype. Fuck with that. Yeah. Fuck with that. Fuck with that. Fuck with that. Bring the wall, man. Bring the bring bring the fucking energy, man. Straight oh up, God. it'll be loud. Man. Yeah, I'm about to scream. let's go. That, <laughs> that. Um. All right. So what what <laughs> what matches do you what matches do you guys have coming up in a, this weekend? Uh, we play Toronto on Friday and Minnesota on Sunday. And uh, what's your preparation like going into that? Um. Same shit, different day. Literally. Mm-hmm. Get on, you know what I'm saying? Get preparation or whatever it is, and maybe get the rank then. You know what I mean? Yeah, get the grind. Game, rank. game day preparation or week preparation? Uh, week preparation. Week preparation. I mean, same shit, but I think we can uh, utilize this week to, to our advantage. What y'all think? We got. I, I agree. We got control to practice, mm-hmm. hard point, and S and D. We can get better, bro. We can get better this week. This we can is always like, get. Better. This is a good time to fucking. Yeah, better straight up. Lock in, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Just Two big matches, a whole week. We'll see what happens. Couldn't agree more. Yeah, couldn't agree more. I'm a co-sign. Yeah. <laughs> I co-co-sign, <laughs> bro. Uh, I appreciate that. And uh, I think last question: Do we have an update on on Shotzi from you guys? Like, in, is he going to be able to make it in in house this weekend? Do we know? Mostly, yeah. I would assume so. I, mean, I would assume so because he. It's true. Actually, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but he should be good by this weekend, yes. He streamed yesterday, so he's not <clears throat> feeling out of the weather, but not like, like, oh my God, I can't get out of It's not like, yeah, he's like unable to move, yeah. Mm. Still flying. I think it's more just getting other people sick, right? He doesn't want to. Yeah, I think that's yeah, why he's not here. Yeah. He doesn't want to get us sick. I wouldn't want to. Either. You just start like a snowball effect of now he's sick, and the next week I'm sick. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, the whole facility. Respect to him. Yeah, then we all are. There, yeah, yeah, all because yeah. of one guy. Yeah. Play, man. Explain it right now. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in to the CDL press conference brought to you by Elgato. Let's get into it in scrims this week.